Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be diving more into RapidMQ. We briefly mentioned it in our component registry not being available video. RapidMQ is our messaging queue. It's the way the components in our VRA appliance communicate with each other. If RapidMQ is having some kind of issue, then the VRA environment is not working. While we still could get to the management portal, anything with the admin portal or deploying workflows wouldn't work correctly. And if we're noticing some kind of cluster issue, this is a pretty good place to start troubleshooting. RapidMQ is also used when VRA wants to communicate with our IS server. Now, once the message gets to our IS web server, it uses a different communication method, but it's used to facilitate that communication between the two servers. Doing a brief rundown of the configurations, hostname, we should see localhost. Port is using 5671. Our user, that's automatically generated when we deploy the VRA environment. Our connection status shows connected. RabbitMQ process is currently running. This is a standalone environment. So we just have one entry for our appliance node ID. We see rapid at localhost. If this was a distributed environment, we have multiple nodes, we would see rabid at node ID. For RabbitMQ to work correctly, we have to have a healthy DNS environment. Our VRA appliance has to be able to resolve our fully qualified domain name, our FQDN, and it has to be able to resolve our short names. If we're having some kind of issue with DNS, then RapidMQ may not be working. Underneath actions, we have a reset RapidMQ button. This is like going back to the factory default. If I click that button, it'll delete all the configurations related to RapidMQ. It'll then rebuild them and restart the services. This process can take up to 20 minutes to do the full restart and it'll just impact the RapidMQ settings. If this was a clustered environment, we've got a few more troubleshooting steps though before we reach that reset button. In a clustered environment, are we seeing similar behavior on node one versus node two? Is it stopped on node two, but running on node one? Because if I see that situation, I would certainly want to check DNS. Can the two nodes actually see each other? Let's say they are seeing each other though. Could I try to rejoin node one back to the cluster? If I click on our cluster tab, I can populate the information for node one and click on join cluster and see if we can bring that node back into the cluster and see if we can get it working correctly. If that doesn't work, we can head back to our messaging tab and click on the reset rapid MQ cluster button. It's a different button that we don't see in a standalone environment. What this does is it goes back to the factory defaults, just like our reset rapid MQ button does, but it retains the cluster information. That way, it can bring the cluster back together. If we were to click on the reset rapid MQ button in a distributed environment, it would actually blow away the cluster information. And while it's not the end of the world, we would just have to go back to the cluster tab and try to rejoin those nodes back together. One of the words of caution with the reset rapid MQ button in a distributed environment is what happens if one of the nodes is offline? It's got a hard down situation. If we click that button, it blows away the cluster. If that node was to come back online, it wouldn't be up to date. It wouldn't understand why it's not in a clustered environment. It'd be better at that point to deploy a new VRA appliance to bring it in fresh. To wrap up this video, we dove a little bit deeper into our rapid MQ. We want to make sure that DNS is working correctly for either configurations, whether that's standalone or whether that's distributed. And if we are using a distributed environment, are we seeing similar behavior between node one and node two? Are they both saying running? Are they both saying stopped? What does that look like? We then talked about the difference between the reset rapid MQ and the reset rapid MQ cluster button. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and I hope it's been informative.